Good morning, friends. Happy day to all of you. So, friends, billions of dollars in relief money has just been approved to fund new stimulus programs, and many low-income households are currently eligible to receive new bonus checks. Up to one thousand dollars can be claimed right now. President Biden has also made a big announcement on his new Build Back Better plan. Dear friends, please make sure you watch until the end of this video for all the details. Also, know that I'll be giving away a seventy-five dollar Walmart gift card four days a week. If you would like to enter the giveaways, please make sure you click and like several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning the giveaways. Uh, this is uh, an, an incredibly important piece of legislation, which will um, not just save American consumers money, it will reduce their health care costs, it will ultimately reduce their energy costs, and it will take the most significant step that we have ever taken uh, to combat climate change. Uh, <clears throat> after listening to Chairman McGovern's statement, I have to say that it, I, I think that uh, our staffs must have worked together on uh, the, the statements because the, the one that was drafted for me is almost identical to the one that uh, Chairman McGovern gave. So, There's value uh, in repetition. <laughs> well, I'm not one of those who uh, subscribes to the, um, the often used uh, um, congressional theory that uh, everything's been said, but not everybody's said it so that everybody has to say it. So I'm going. So friends, here is some awesome news. Essential workers in the state of Connecticut may be eligible for up to $1,000 payments through a new program established by the state legislature. Eligible workers in the private sector who were employed during the height of the crisis can apply for the HERO payment through the Premium Pay Program. The Premium Pay Program was approved and funded with $30 million by the Connecticut General Assembly and Governor Ned Lamont earlier this year it is to support the workforce that helped keep the state operational throughout the crisis. Connecticut State Comptroller Natalie Braswell said in a statement, There is a great need and demand for this premium pay program, and I'm looking forward to officially launching the program. The premium pay program will provide much deserved relief to Connecticut's essential workers. So in order to qualify, employees must have been designated as essential workers and were employed in Connecticut between March 10, 2020 and May 7, 2022. They also cannot have earned over $149,999. Some occupations that qualify include grocery store employees and healthcare workers. For those employed by a federal, state, or municipal government agency, they do not qualify, and so police officers and firefighters are also excluded. Any eligible essential worker has until October 1st, 2022 to apply for this payment. The amount of payments that one receives depends on their income level. Payments will start going out in early 2023. Connecticut Governor Ned Lamont has also approved new relief for families with children Families can apply to receive a state tax rebate of up to $250 per child under the age of 18, with a maximum of three children covered. During the program's announcement, the Connecticut governor revealed that the payments would go out to those approved in late August, just before the start of the school year. To be eligible for this credit, families must be a resident of Connecticut must have claimed at least one dependent under the age of 18 on their 2021 federal income tax return and also meet certain income thresholds. Friends, the key word for this video is Ocean Beach Park. If you would like to enter today's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and comment below this keyword, which is Ocean Beach Park and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And please, friends, do make sure 
that you're also subscribed to my channel. And friends, the more videos that you watch and comment on, the greater your chance of winning the giveaways. Millions of Americans can still feel the effects of inflation. Although inflation began to ease last month, along with gas prices, food costs climbed 1.1% in July, bringing the year-over-year -year gain to 10.9%. According to the latest Consumer Price Index figures, the Food at Home Index, which is a measure of price changes at the grocery store, notched the largest 12-month increase since 1979. Cereals and baked goods cost 15% more than they did last year. Milk and dairy products are 14.9% higher. And fruits and vegetables are up 9.3% over the year. Financial analysts have told CBS News consumers are getting a break at the gas pump but not at the grocery store. Food prices and especially costs for food at home continue to soar, rising at the fastest pace in more than 43 years because the Federal Reserve has already taken aggressive steps to fight surging inflation. Consumers expect prices will come down eventually. The Federal Reserve Bank has stated that prices are still expected to climb 6.7% over the next 12 months, but that is a big decline from June. The central bank has hiked its benchmark rate by 2.25 percentage points so far in 2022 and has indicated even more increases are coming. The United States labor market remained red hot in July, despite expectations job growth would cool as tighter monetary conditions and company layoffs stoked fears of a recession. The Labor Department recently released its latest monthly jobs report. July's report marked a sharp jump from the prior month, which saw payrolls rise by 398,000. June's figure was upwardly revised from the 372,000 initially reported. The unemployment rate ticked back down to 3.5% in July matching the level seen in February 2020, just before the crisis upended the U.S. and global economy. So friends, what are your thoughts on inflation and recession? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, my amazing and fabulous friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate every single one of you who are watching my videos. Remember friends, I'll be announcing a winner in a video later today. So please stay tuned for that video. Thank you friends and have a wonderful and blessed morning.